Hello everyone, my name is Bhavan Pun and I am a developer evangelist at Here Technologies. Today, we are exploring on how to build a basic interactive web map using Next.js and Here Map CPI for JavaScript. Some of our developer leverage Next.js to enhance their Here Maps application. This video is a simple how to guide to get started quickly. If you are building a location based application for navigation, logistics, or if you just want to add maps to your project, this video will help you get started. Let's dive in. Step 1 Setting up the Next.js project. We are using VS Code Editor for this project. You can create a new Next.js project by running the following command npx create next step interactive map. Interactive map is the project's name, and all the commands are in the description below. We are going to use page routing model for this project. Let's open the project by running the following command cd interactive map. Once the project is set up, navigate to index.js file. Remove any unnecessary code which is not required. And we are ready to proceed. Step 2 Installing Here Maps API for JavaScript. To use Here Map resources, we need to install Here Maps API for JavaScript. Run the following command in your terminal npm config set, paste the code, press enter. NPM install, paste the code, and that's it. To use here maps resources, we also need to create an API key. Step 3 How to create an API key. We already have a tutorial video on how to create an API key. The link is in the description below. After creating the API key, make sure that you store it somewhere safe as it will be required for future use. Step 4 Integrating Here Map Resources into a Next.js project. 1. Create a component folder under the SRC folder. Create an interactive map.js file. Open the interactive map.js file and paste the default code with the following example. Now, let's break down this step by step. Create a reference using useref for the map container map instance and platform. Initialize the map inside the use effect using the API key. Use the HAP engine to render a 3D vector map for smooth performance. Create and display the map, centering it on Berlin and zoom level 14. Enable zoom, panning and UI controls for better interaction. Finally, we clean up the map instance and the component and mounts. Next, we are going to dynamically import the interactive map component into our index.js file. Let's break this down step by step. Dynamically import the map component using next slash dynamic with SSR false to prevent server side rendering. Fetch the API key from environment variables. Pass the API key as a prop to the map component. Render the map component inside the home component. The question must be, why to use dynamic import? The Here Maps API for JavaScript relies on the browser's object, which is not available on the server. So setting SSR false makes sure that the map only loads on the client and not on the server. And that's it. When you run your Next.js project with npm run dev command, you will be able to see an interactive web map at the specified location, which is Berlin. Thanks for watching, but keep an eye out for our follow-up videos where we We'll look at enhancing our app with more functionalities like adding a marker, layers, or even integrating routing and geocoding services from here technologies. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more developer content. For more information about here technologies and our APIs, visit our website, Happy Coding, and I'll see you in the next one.